This is what we're making today. Tenebrian Berry Opera. First, in a bowl, we're gonna mix two eggs and one cup of sugar. So guys, last week, I got my very first Patreon subscriber. And as a thank you, I said I'll make any dish that he wanted. So we came up with this, Tenebrian Berry Opera from Final Fantasy XV. Once we've mixed the sugar and egg, we're going to add in half a cup of milk, half a cup of oil, and one tablespoon of vanilla extract. We're going to give this a quick mix until everything's incorporated. If you guys are interested, check out my Patreon page at patreon.com slash chefmar. Next, we're going to add in our dry ingredients. On top of a sieve, we're going to throw in 1 cup and 4 tablespoons of flour, 1 teaspoon of baking powder, 1 teaspoon of baking soda, and 1 8 of a teaspoon of salt. We're going to pass this through a sieve, ensuring that there are no clumps. Once all the dry ingredients have passed through, we're going to give it a mix until everything's incorporated. At this point, I realized I didn't have enough batter, so we're going to make another recipe real quick. So in case you guys are still wondering, what we're making here is a marble cake. And I got the recipe from another YouTuber. I'll put the link on the card above. At this point, we made two full recipes. We're going to take half of our recipe, or a quarter of the two recipes, and separate it to another bowl. With the remainder of one and a half recipes, we're going to add in two tablespoons of cocoa powder. We're going to give it a really good mix and then set it aside. Next, we're going to cut up a bunch of blackberries in half. This will be mixed in with our batter. We're going to throw in about a quarter of our chocolate batter with the blackberries. We're going to use this part as the base of our cake. We're going to give this a quick mix and then start loading our pan. First, we're going to grease our pan with an oiled up paper towel. Then, as a base, we're going to throw in our blackberry and chocolate batter mix. We're going to spread it evenly at the bottom of our pan and add in another layer of chocolate batter. Once our chocolate batter has been evenly distributed, we're going to add in our vanilla batter. Once we've dumped in our half recipe of vanilla batter, we're going to throw in the rest of our chocolate batter right on top. We're not going to be too picky on how it looks because now we're going to take a chopstick and we're going to make swirls into the batter. This will give that marbling effect in the cake. Once we've made our swirls, we're going to throw it in the oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 45 minutes. While our cake is cooking, we're going to make a quick ganache. First, we're going to cut up half a cup of sweetened chocolate. By chopping the chocolate up, it'll help it melt in the cream much faster. In a hot pan, we're going to scald our cream. We're immediately going to turn off the heat and then throw in our half a cup of chocolate. We're going to give this a really good mix and then set it aside to cool. After 45 minutes, this is our marble cake. We're going to let it rest for an hour. While our cake is cooling down, we're going to quickly make a glaze. This is apricot jam. We're simply going to add a little bit of water to our jam, give it a mix, and then bring it to a boil. We're going to strain our mixture out and then use this as our glaze for our fruits.
Now, we're going to quickly glaze our strawberries, blackberries, and raspberries. After one hour, we're going to take our cake out of our pan. We're going to cut the top off and then save it for myself. This is my reward. I deserve this. Next, we're going to apply our ganache. We're simply going to spread it on top of our cake. Once the ganache has been applied, we're going to cut the cake into four. And now let's get ready to plate. Alright, this is for you Pablo Bucks. This cake's for you. I'll be honest with you guys, this is not the best marble cake I've ever had. It looks good, but it's not as moist as I would like it to be. Probably because there was no butter yeast in this recipe. I was trying to go for a little too healthy. As for these fruits, I mean, it's a glazed fruit. It's really hard to go wrong with that. Anyways, this is my interpretation of the Tenebrian Berry Opera. Honestly, I don't even know if I'm saying that right. Tenebrian? 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 I don't know. Tell me what you think. Anyways, if you guys like what you see, hit the like button. And if you guys have any suggestions on what I should cook next, please post in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe. And guys, please check out my Patreon page.